Hey, how's it going? Okay, back with a video. It's been a while, but this time we're doing One Piece. Uh, really excited for this one. I really lucky to live in live close to an official One Piece card game store, so I was able to pick this up MSRP. Prices have jumped a lot since then, but I'm just gonna open it anyways because that's what I like to do. I'm just gonna dive right in. Uh, let's see. Up. Let's get this plastic out of here. Hell yeah. Right, no turning back now. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so really excited about this one. Uh, recently got into the One Piece card game. I've just played a couple of events, but I'm very, very excited for the next set. Uh, I picked up the new starter decks. I've also been getting into the, the show a lot. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so we got revision packs. And the actual packs. Let me... Go ahead and take care of these. Okay. There we go. Let's put these off to the side. Okay, now that those are off to the side, let's open this revision pack. I think it's some cards that basically got eroded. Uh, they just have like different text. I think I got that right. So you got some bonus cards there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Between okay, so it's a box stopper and a revision pack. Revision pack. Oh hey, I think this card's pretty good. I've lost to this a lot. Jinbei, uh, Jet Pistol, Scalpel, Sables, Jack, Last Breath. Okay, so I think I've seen these two played. That Law might actually be worth something. It's a super rare and it's from a starter, so it's probably worth a little bit. Okay, and then the actual. Box stopper here. Oh, I threw that to the mic. I think the mic's okay. Uh, actual box stopper here. Let's see. It's a special attribute. And oh, hey, it's Boa Hancock. Is it the good one? I think it is. <laughs> yes. When attacking, uh, draw one trash. Mm, I don't think it's a good one. I think the good one's a blocker. But yeah, Boa Hancock. Nice. Good to see. Off to a good start. And let's just don't jump right in. Okay, so, yep. As I was saying, I've been getting into the card game. Uh, I've been spending a lot of money on it, but I think it's fine. Let me just frame these pretty well. So we got to the, oh, hey, Frankie. Chopper, some film cards, nice. I know those are good for the Flamingo. We got Magellan Leader, Shiryu, Hey, and a Luffy. I think this card's really good. It's a rare. Let's do that there. We got a Dawn. Let's put that to the side. Uh, yeah, so just play a couple of events. At first, I really, really wanted to play uh, Smoker uh, when I first wanted to get into the game. But apparently, he is not in a great spot. Oh, Suru. Nice. I need those. But I will end up playing Black Navy. So, right now I'm playing Crocodile. Ooh, hey, Magellan. Nice. So, so far, pretty good cards. <laughs> uh, I mean, Buggy's not that great, but Magellan sees a lot of play recently. Nice super rare. I don't know how many super rares you're guaranteed per box. I know it's like a specific number. Uh, yeah, it's not like magic where it just all is super random. There's like no telling what you'll get. <laughs> it's just per pack. But here per box, I know you're guaranteed a couple of hits. Nice. Film Sorrow, another Suru, nice. I don't need that. Okay, rare, another Luffy. And there's another card stuck to the back there. And it's a. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's really nice. Okay. So we got a Luffy and we got Alt Art Leader Garp. Hell yeah. Big fan of Garp. I don't think he sees a lot of play. I don't think he's very good, but. It's an old leader. All right. Uh, so right off the gate, we get our old card, which I think you just you can only get one <laughs> per box. So that's our old, uh, which means the rest of this is not gonna be great, I think. But whatever. Sh also need those. Put that to the side. Kuma. These are the rares here. We got Seaquake, Sengoku. Sure. Yeah, I don't think Sengoku sees a lot of play. Uh, but yeah, from this set, 
Uh, I already have kind of the staples that I need. I already have my Kuzans and Borsalinos because I want to play Blue Black Sakazuki for the next set just to start playing Navy. Uh, right now I'm playing Crocodile. I think Machina is pretty good. Ooh, hey, Ace. That's a good one. What's the other one? Hannibal, sure. It's another super rare. Yeah, super rare Ace. Let's do that. Nice. I'm probably not framing these properly. I gotta take a better look at that. But yeah, uh, I'm, there's still a lot of like good navy cards in here that I'll probably end up using, and any extras I have will probably hold good value since it's gonna be a popular deck. I just picked up my uh, pieces for it early on to just guarantee I have it. Kinemon, nice. Oh, okay, there's a uh, another Garp. That's a good two K counter there. So rares. Mr. Two Garp. Not bad. Let's put this Dawn here. I'm gonna end up with so much Dawn <laughs> that I know what to do with. I think they stop putting Dawns in every pack after this set. Which is a good idea. I know this card's banned. I don't know why. I've been pretty new to the game, so just getting into it. So I know some cards are banned. I don't know exactly why. I think this is the exact same rares from the last pack. Mr. Two Garp. Mr. Two Garp. All right, couple of Garps there, sure. I mean, we already have the good Garp over there. That's our hit for the box. Uh, I think there's better alt art leaders to get, but, you know, won't complain. I know, like, the alt art leaders are just big hits in general. So, really happy to see those. Even though it's not like a playable one, it's still like a good collector's piece. Oh, Marco, nice. This was recently restricted to one, I think. And I think this is the old, another old art. No, I think it's just the regular one. Old arts are borderless, right? Uh, so yeah, Luffy and Marco. And this is a super rare Luffy. That's another super rare. Uh, yeah, again, I'm not sure how many you're supposed to get for a box. But so far, you know, I can't really complain. We got the old art leader, even though I think it's like the least valuable one, but... You know, what are you going to do? Uh, Curly Dodon, recently banned temporarily. Uh, Vista is the first rare. And Paradise Totsuka from Wano. Uh, a lot of these cards, <laughs> I'm not familiar with either like the characters or like the events. Uh, still pretty new to, not even just the card game, but One Piece in general. I started getting into it pretty recently. Uh, I started with the Netflix show. Uh, that's kind of what got me kind of to dip my toes and now I'm in pretty deep in the manga I'm in the middle of well not in the middle of I'm like towards the end of Thriller Bark which has been great recently Gum Gum Rain I like that oh hey we got Super Rare Film Nami I think that one is another valuable one I know it sees a lot of play in the green purple the flamingo is part of the film package and I think it's still good afterwards like even going into set six because there's going to be a another uta leader that uses the film package so i'm happy to see that uh, oh hey look smoker i love smoker he's like when this is like what i would be playing <laughs> if i didn't decide to go with crocodile instead but i don't know who knows i might get enough cards here to just put together smoker but not really because i don't have the expensive uh, i like kobe it's a good one jozu sure yeah, I don't have enough black. I just have like the staple black cards, but I don't have uh, like the 10 drop Kuzan. I think all the black decks play it. And well, we might see one here, maybe not, but I just decided not to get that and invest into blue instead and just play that. Another leader, Sefer. Another black leader. First rare, Seekwick. Second rare, Singoku. I think we're halfway there but yeah big fan of the card game so far excited for the next set so sakazuki is what i'm building into and then uh, i also want to have a red purple law i picked up a couple of the starter decks so i have like the leader and like a lot of the staples for the starters a yamato but meteor volcano oh nice 
yeah, so I picked up the starter decks, but there's some cards that <laughs> you kind of need that I don't have. Like, I don't have Gordon. Uh, that one is like, you kind of have to play it. It's just, there's no other card for that rate that has the effect that like you really, really need to make use of loss ability. Hey, Sanji. Uh, so maybe like, I'll get some nice, ooh, Shiki. I thought it was from Starter, but I guess it's a, uh, that's another film card. And Inazuma, sure. Yeah, like I don't have Gordon. I don't have Queen either. That's like, I don't have the purple starter deck stuff. I kicking myself now because when I started buying like starter decks to, you know, get started, the official store did have purple in stock, like the purple Kaido, but I didn't pick it up. I picked up some, I picked up one of the, the film starters instead, which I think is still good because you get those Utas, but I also need, you know, you need Queens <laughs> and those are really, really expensive. So hopefully they restock those starter decks soon and I'll just scoop up a couple of purple ones and then I'll just be missing Gordon for red purple law. Uh, Cause purple is going to be like the other, oh, hey, Ice Age, nice. Put that to the side. Oh, Hancock. Oh, that's the one we got as a box stopper and Hannibal. Is that a super rare? No, it's an uncommon. Oh, wait, no, it's another stock. Ooh, we got, oh, hey, nice. <laughs> so that card, I don't think is, I think that's another restricted card. So we got Hannibal, and this is a, this is just how it is. <laughs> this is a super rare, but it's, I think it's the alt. But, okay, yeah, because I'm thinking of the leader. The leader is like, so these are, are two alts, is Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, and Garp, I think those are the guaranteed hits. So the rest of it just depends on how good the rares are gonna be or the super rares are gonna be. But you know, pretty good hits. Uh, you know, I was kind of conflicted into like flipping this one because I, I got it at MSRP and like I could have easily sold it and made like a profit, but uh, I don't like going through the trouble of that. And you know, I bought it cause I like cards <laughs> and I wanna like build up my collection. So, you know. That's pretty good start to a collection I get, I guess. So, oh, hey, I think I know what this other card is. So we got a rare Mask Deuce and we got a Kuzan. So that's that's good. This is a really, really, really good card. I already have my playset, but, you know, they're going to hold value, I think. Because they're just going to get more scares if they don't reprint everything. And then Sakazuki is looking like one of the best decks from the new format, at least in the Japanese format. And if people are going to be playing it a lot, they're going to need... Kuzan. So I'm happy to see more Kuzan. I just wanted to guarantee my playset as soon as I could. Actually, not as soon as I could, because it went through a price increase, and then I was like, ah, shit, better get them now. And then it, the price increased again. Oh, nothing there, just two rares. So, yeah, I still got them at lower than the, what the price is now, so I'm not too upset about that. It's just that they used to be even cheaper. They just kind of skyrocketed because people are getting ready for the new set, which is understandable. And that's one of the things, oh, hey, it's Garp. <laughs> so we got regular Garp. Oh, hell yeah, Smoker. I don't think he's a lot of play, but I, I'll take Smoker. I love Smoker. Carrot, I'm, I don't know who that is. It's just a little bunny. So we got Altart Garp, regular Garp. Pretty nice. What was I saying? Yeah, Sakazuki is the deck that I'm, I know I'm going to be playing. Like right now, I just need like the cards from the new set. <laughs> well, I mean, I still need uh, some cards from here, like those Surus. I think I need two more, and Ice Age. I think I'm good with Ice Age. They play like two or three. I mean, they're not like the most expensive cards, so like opening a whole ass box to get them, you know, isn't optimal. But I just, li I just like opening product. Judgment of Hell. Another purple card, and oh hey, another banned card. So yeah, like we got the old and we got the regular. I mean, it's not banned; it's just restricted. But you know, happy to well, not happy to see that because no one won. I think yeah, no one's gonna want multiples of them. But I think the alt art is probably still pretty desirable because it's like if you're gonna play the one, you know, might as well make it that one. This is the, the swag one, flamingo. Another burn card, Marco. Another Marco, speaking of restricted cards. And Kozuki Odin. 
land of Wano. I'm like way, I'm like really, really far off from Wano. I'm like finishing up Thriller Bark. They mentioned Wano. There was like a Wano swordsman in there, which was a cool fight. Uh, I mean, so far I think the peak was Any's lobby. I'm still like, wow, can't believe I cried reading this goofy ass manga. But yeah, I mean, he did it. And then, yeah, Thriller Bark has been pretty good. I and mean, it's not as good as, but you know, it's still like a, a good romp. It has all the elements of a good One Piece story. Uh, two more packs. It's so almost done. Uh, pretty happy, I think. I think that's pretty good hits. I mean, Altar Leader. It's like one of the rarest ones. So happy to see that. <laughs> Just take the Dawn out. Get it out of the way. Would like to see one more Zuru. <laughs> Just uh, kind of weird to say. Hey, we got... Okay, now th this one's actually banned. <laughs> like, you can't actually play this. Got Brook and Hina. Okay, last pack. All right. One more Zuru, please. <laughs> Just one. And one more one more Ice Age would be good. Just, just to come on. Atmos, Frankie, Uncommon... Okay, so first rare, Mask Deuce, and the last rare of the box is Little Sadie. Oh, and there's the special Dawn. Yeah, I think you get guaranteed one per box, so there he is. I really like it. Uh, here's Shanks. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know there's going to be a war coming up because the next arc, well, not the next arc, but the next couple arcs are going to be Paramount War, which is like the name of the set. and It's supposed to be like one of the best arcs in One Piece, so excited to read that. And yeah, that was our box. Uh, <laughs> pretty exciting alt art leader. Really nice texture. My first time, well, this is my first time seeing one in person. I've seen them at like the store. Some people like actually have been playing for a while. They have their alt art leader. I have my starter deck leader, which is like shiny, but it's not as good as these. So I think these are the, the two alt arts that we got for our box. Uh, pretty good. Not bad. And yeah. Anything else in the super rares? That's oh yeah, we had the Kuzan in there. Like Marco, Marco's all right. Yeah, Kuzan's like another big hit that we binked. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, no, we had we had that Nami. I don't know if Shiki, Shiki's just a rare, so I don't think it's gonna be that expensive. But yeah, I like Kobe. Kobe, uh, Nami is like the other big card there. Luffy, another Marco. We got, yeah, we got two Garbs to Mr. Two. Oh, right, Ace. That's our, another super rare. Luffy, oh, right, <laughs> I forgot about Magellan. Yeah, can't forget about Magellan. So Magellan is like the other big hit. It's a pretty good box, I think. A lot of the cards here are going up in value. So, you know, it's always good. I mean, I guess not good if you want to just getting into it, but good if you want to build up a good collection. Uh, and I think that's the, the last of the good cards. I mean, I guess Garp. Garp's good. Love Garp. We got two Luffy's and one Nami. I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it for the video. Pretty happy about this one. We got a smoker. Uh, but yeah. All right. Uh, if you watch this, thanks for watching. Uh, peace.